Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, I'm continuing the labor of love that Isima and I began in this little bazaar. I've got my little stall set up, we got nice little double walls here so that everybody can customize their little bazaar things, so let's say the generic B wants to open up a shop here, he can be like, oh, let me break this wall. Oh, okay, well, I'll put in a different material, because I'm Generic B. I like me that dark spruce wood. Okay, yes, that's my name, Generic B. That's how I talk. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, brush your hair and put spruce wood or whatever. So, anyway, we've got stalls for 12 people currently in various states of partial completion. We've got a lawn here that I should not be putting netherrack under, I should be putting dirt under. And what I'm thinking is, we're gonna go ahead and get like a mycelium kind of lawn here, because it feels, I like having stuff growing, but it feels a little bit less um, overworldy than the green grass, like the stone and the mycelium go together. And what I really wanna do this episode though, is, as you can see, I've got a grid of anti-gassed spawning pads here. And I'd like to try and figure out an ideal way to prevent gas from spawning in here without actually, like, having everything look stupid. Because these current ones are just kind of placeholders to stop gas from spawning right now. But we'd like to have something that's both beautiful and functional in the future, right? So, how do we do that? Well, experimentation and careful, careful consideration of all the different factors. So, here we go, just... Throwing some more of that down. So this way the mycelium can continue to spread as we record. but Or as I, as I um, work on the whole thing. As you can see, we got two more stalls over here. So if any of your friends um, are on the Hermitcraft server, like if you're a big fan of that generic bee fella, you could be like, Hey, generic bee friend, you should go and do a video where you set up your stall in the bazaar. And I'll even show you how my stall works real quick. So... Each stall has a glowstone block in front of it, so people can put up a sign that says the name of whoever. Like, this is Joe Hills' stall. And I can decorate my walls and floors and ceiling any way I like. Um, I still haven't done much with the ceiling. I did uh, stone um, fences for the sides here, though. So I have something that says, take five carrots, leave three ink. So people can just grab carrots out of here and leave ink down here. Over here, take three wool, leave three ladders. And I left some other stuff in there because I was trying to empty my inventory before recording but you get the basic idea and I think this has a lot of promise and it'll be a much more effective trading area than what we had in the past so in order to figure out what we want to do here first we need to figure out how wide this is so let's play that game where we all count so uno dos trace cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve diez once doce Trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis. So, for those of you who speak Spanish, please comment what that number was, because I should probably have done that in English. I don't actually know how many blocks that is. I'm just kidding. It's 16. You can still leave comments, though. Oh yeah, please leave comments and click like and dislike and share and all those buttons down below the video. That really helps my search rankings. When people search for Minecraft and stuff, the more times that you guys like click share and then tweet videos, the more likely they are to show up. So, okay. So we've got a 16 wide hall here. And we need to make sure that there's never more than five contiguous spaces that don't run into a half slab. So if we came in from the outside here uh, four spaces. Where does that put us? So one, two, three, four. And if we come in from the outside there, then that puts us with these four. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I put this in the middle, actually, and then magically replace that with dirt. So now we actually have something that is I'm trying not to break all of the blocks because that is unnecessary. So at least now we have something that's symmetrical. So that's an improvement off of my just barely doing it um, kind of setup from before. Oh wait, no, 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 hold on. This is one, two, three. That needs to be four in to, to maximize this. So that means, though, that that middle one... So one, two, three, four, five. So that means that middle one is no longer exactly centered. So what we could do is kind of have a 
raised area along the middle here, and then kind of less raised areas along the sides, possibly. Not sure if I love that. Like, ideally, I'd like to get, like, maybe lava fountains or something in the middle. That could look really cool. And uh, light everything up pretty neatly. Yeah, and this is the nether. So, okay, you know what? Let's let's try this lava fountain idea. So, if I come over here, and we assume that we're going to stick with that setup. So, let's see. That would give us... Well, we probably don't want our lava fountain to start right in the middle of... Well, yeah, that, I, let's see. If we have our stairwell here... Sorry, I'm not finishing a lot of these sentences because I'm so excited. Okay, if you come down the stairs, you don't want your lava fountain to start directly here. You want to be able to like walk alongside of here. I don't want the lava fountain to occlude my beautiful thing. So, let's actually, perhaps, set this up so on this side we also have... Um, so we go one, two, three, and then we come over. And now all of a sudden, though, that's enough space for this to be a spawning area. One, two, three, four, hmm, five. Okay, so we don't have that option. So this block absolutely positively has to be here. But we don't want to necessarily set one here because then those stairs don't go back far enough. Although I suppose we could move the whole stairwell backwards. That just seems kind of excessive. So, hmm. Well, alternately, we could set up some sort of, um, some sort of thing out here that kind of makes it look more intentional. So then this comes to here, and then, oh, that looks terrible. We're not doing that. Get rid of those blocks. Hmm. Technically, if we get rid of this as well, then we still don't have to worry about the 5 by 5 until we get, like... Yeah, th that'll never be a problem. But Okay, so if you come down the stairs, though, you could have a complete walkway here. And you know what? At this point, though, there's no reason you couldn't equally have a parallel stairwell down here. So let's keep that in mind, too. So I guess, yeah, if you could have... If we could set up a second stairwell over here, then that would fix a lot of that problems. So, let's, um, real quickly grab some of these stairs, and let's figure that out. So, if we come out this way, and we say, okay, get rid of that, put that there, and I'm not sure that this is going to center perfectly, but, okay, so now we are lined up, and that little glowstone there is three in from right here. So one, two, three. We can just pop this in here like so. And that means then that the stairs will yet begin right here, here, and here. So, this is just a placeholder for right now. We'll figure this out better later. Okay, so then we could have like a stone block or something here. Um... Hmm. Now, this is nice, too, because this allows us to push the entire design back more. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't, because we still need it to block the four here. One, two, three. Yeah, we don't want to hit five, because then we'll have guests. Okay, but still, you could come down the stairs, and if you wanted, you could come this way. Alternately, one thing we could do with the lava fountain is kind of double wall this a little bit, so that way people can... uh walk on either side without necessarily hitting the lava imminently. So, okay. In the short term, though, this seems like a pretty viable way to set this up. So I'm just going to start going on down here, and we will see how this kind of churns out. Of course, I did not bring any lava buckets with me because this idea I pretty much had on the fly. So, we're just going to kind of make it happen as we go. You know, that's what being an adventurer builder is all about. Not knowing where the adventure of the build is going to take you, or how built up the adventure is going to get. You know, we're just living out here on the raggedy edge, and dealing with pigmen who are super obnoxious. Get out of my way. 
Okay, so, cool. Definitely getting a better sense of everything. I think the lava should be far enough away from stuff, too, that it won't burn. That is not, um, that's not science. That's supposition. It'll be science if we create an experiment and then test it. Now, luckily, the only stuff that I could burn at this point is mine and or Isima's. So, you know, if I screw up, then the only people who will be mad at me is me and, well, Isima. And Isima kind of likes me. So, hopefully it'll be fine. Cool. So we can just come in now, take out these middle guys here, throw that down there, like so. And we can just keep going. So I hope everybody's having a pretty good Saturday so far. I don't know if you guys are watching this early in the morning and you've yet to get out there and adventure. but uh, Or if you're watching this at the end of the day and you've had a long day. But either way, happy Saturday to you. And if I uploaded this on any day other than Saturday, then you can totally um, call me a fool, because that is my fault. Okay, so wait, right now, as you can see, ghasts can spawn in here. So we need to do literally anything about that. I'm thinking... I don't think gas can spawn once I get the lava going. But for right now, let's see... I should probably figure out, I guess what I can do, the best thing I could probably do, is just to create some um, stone brick half slabs, or cobblestone half slabs here, and just lay those down, and I'm going to just dump the lava on top of those. So, like, these you won't be able to see later. So, boom. So we've got two on either side. Yeah, that's looking great. So this will hold us over until we can... Knock all that out. So, I'm guessing the best thing for me to do would be to just grab tons of buckets of, um, just empty buckets and just run down to the lava bottom of the map. Oh, I can ender pearl down. I don't have a way back up yet. But I can figure that out in a little while. So, cool. And we can just take some of this dirt here and continue the pattern. Obviously, we kind of ran out of steam down this way, but it's no excuse, excuse for shoddy labor. So, continue this out to the wall. No, away with you, pig man. Yeah, that's right. You best be grumpy. Yes. Um, so, boom, we extend that out to there. Wow, this is going to take like 80 buckets of lava to do right. I wonder if there's a shortcut I could take. Like, maybe I only put lava every... Well, if I put lava every other one here, or like, if I put lava every time it lined up with the... with the glowstone, maybe that would work. Okay, well, either way, let's go ahead and store a bunch of the excess materials we have. And, whoa, that's not my booth. Um, go ahead and give this a quick go. I think the best thing to do is just to ender pearl right down there and try not to land in the fire. Look, I'm already doing an incredible job. Oh, somebody has gotten this idea way ahead of me. I like that the bucket's stacked now, so I'm not just dumping lava back on top of stuff. Let's get those out of our inventory. And let's try and ascertain a method to return to the hub. What we should do... Okay, seriously, guys. What we should do is we should build a portal underneath here that just takes you back into spawn, and then you come back up and out. But um, that doesn't seem to be like, you know, something that's going to get done right now, because how much obsidian do I have on me? None. Awesome. Glad I didn't hit a pig man there. Now remember, when you're in the nether, it's always important to eat plenty of food and possibly you have a potion of regeneration on hand just in case you screw something up because you're going to screw something up. So from here, we can just hop down into this little fenced-in rail cart region which hopefully connects to the hub. Awesome. So which side is the thing that I'm working on? on? I should probably, you know, have a better handle on this by now. It's on the lower level. Okay, there it is over here. This is the trading post. So we're going to run over here to the trading post now with our lava bucket in hand. 
And we are going to try and line these up with the um, wonderful, beautiful, I don't know what do you call them, glowstone blocks here. And let's have the extra potion of regeneration just in case we screw this up somehow. So we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one there. Hmm. So, that's cool. So if I come out to, now we're lined up on this one. I set one there, and I set one there. And I come over to this one. Whoa, should not stand in the lava. Don't stand where the lava is about to go. So, dump all this extra buckets and get out the freshens. Now I'm lined up appropriately. And I can just slap that right there. Set that like so. And where are we? We are right here now is where the next lineup is. And that leaves me with plenty of additional lava with which to lay down the lava-related law. Okay, so one thing I've decided is that this does not look exactly the way I would like. I was going to say, I hope that gas didn't spawn somewhere that's going to freak me out and make me drop this lava bucket on myself. Now, if I had done this a little bit more, like if I had one there and I had one here. See, this is getting to be, yeah, this is more of what I was thinking it would look like eventually. But I did not really, hmm. Let's see here. Right now, there's still a little enough lava to clean it up if I decide I don't like it. But maybe we should just, you know, push that all the way into it's so much lava that no one will ever clean it up. Also, now I need to find my way back out of the nether again. So, I will try taking Isma's little tube exit here. Last time I tried turning one of these directions, and of course, of course neither of them actually took me to the lava. Do I still have my pick out? If I just dig down here. This will take me, like, under the thing, right? And under the thing is where the lava is. Okay, so we're still not low enough. Okay, so... Okay, great, great, great. This is where we want to be. So we can just now go ahead and ender pearl ourselves down this way or just you know jump it whatever we're not here to be perfectionists we're here to set the world ablaze with our creative intelligence or our intelligent creativity so grabbing 15 buckets of lava like it isn't a thing and I will time skip to me being safely back at the top because that is the only possible outcome here Time skip! Okay, so we are back, and I've decided that I'm gonna maybe, between some of the stalls here, like every third stall, for example, what I'm thinking I might do is actually have a 4x4 four four walkway. So that would mean that I would need to place a block here, a block here, so that's one, two, three, four, and then here and here. And so then uh, that way people could cut across more easily. So then I can just get rid of these blocks in the middle here, like so. And see, look how, no how much nicer this already is. We can just toss these, uh, let's see, here and here. Making sure not to set ourselves actually aflame. Because while that makes for a hilarious video, it does not make for Happy Joe Hills. And Happy Joe Hills makes for a hilarious video. Oh, I'm unhappy, I broke the dirt. See? Not funny. Yay, funny! Uh, I don't know, I'm all over the place tonight. Okay, where are we? So here we are. Getting this knocked out. So what I probably should do is actually break those two. Or how do I have it over here? I kind of have... Yeah, okay. So I 
think that what I'd actually even want to do is move those back a bit entirely. So, let's see. Do I start? So I start on this, and then I have one over. And if I start on this and have one over, then I get problems. So, we are going to just go ahead and empty some of our lava buckets that we may yet reclaim their contents. Or the contents of former lava buckets over here. So we are just doing so like we know exactly what we're doing. Everybody pretend you're incredibly competent. So you don't freak out about the fact that a pig man can throw you in the lava at literally any moment. Any time at all. That is the stakes, gentlemen or ladies. So, let's see. If I wanted to put one of these right here... And one of these right... Whoa, don't want that one there, actually. Which, of course, I'm going to lose now. But, okay, so... How does this actually look on this side? So we come in one, and then we go over, and then we kind of go out two. Oh, that's actually... If we're going out two... Oh, I've already got this screwed up, don't I? So, yeah, this is additionally extra screwed up. Because I want to really come in one here, I think. And then I want to come in another one here, and then come out, except for the fact that I'm still over too far. Yeah, I'm just over too far in general. Because if the furthest out ones are going to come in, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to get rid of those ones as well. Let's go ahead and reclaim these real quick. So... On the outside here, we're going to have these four blocks and these one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So, let's get these four set up where we want to start, which is going to be actually, I think, right here. One, two, three. So, everything past that we don't need. And over here is kind of the same case. These are the four here. And we're going to want to pull the stuff on the outside. So, um, let's go ahead and just throw down these removable blocks. Or, you know, to be removed blocks. So, we've got the four we're keeping. One, two, three, four. And the fifth we will not. Now this we're going to want to replace with that. Same thing over here. Toss this, put in this. Did I just hear an error? Okay, well, that was not ideal. So, we've got... Hmm. Okay, so this needs to be the 4 one, and instead it's the 6 one somehow. So that's obviously less than ideal. Let's go ahead and start setting some of these down. So now this one over here... Wait, does that create a space here that's more than 5 by 5 Oh, it does. But, wait, wait, wait. We can come out here on those, right? So that now is... Yeah. So this is kind of a bizarre way to do it. But that keeps this from getting to 5x5. Five five. Very, very, um... Very, very around-the-bush way to do this. But you guys get the idea. Okay. So, now we don't need this block... But we will need... Let's see, we want to remove that and that. And have that fill in there. And I think we want to fill this one. And we want to fill this one. And so now I just cover that. And that. And is that right? Maybe... No, 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 that's not the case. I actually needed to remove those two, um, those two, uh, s stone slabs there. So, hopefully that'll sort itself out eventually. Probably not. Let's, uh, let's plant some nether brick until we sort this out. So, nether brick, nether brick. So, is that gonna fix that at all? Marginally better. 
Hmm. We can just pick up some more of that, and, uh, hmm. So, I guess we could plant nether brick throughout even more here. And see what that does. Okay. So. Is this now the edge? Yeah, this is the edge of that. Okay, pigmen, stay out of, stay out of my way. I would push you in the lava, but that no longer kills you. And... So, you know, there's not a lot of incentive for me to do it. Okay. So now, I just put one of those there, and one of those... Whoops, where'd it go? Dang it. One of those next to it right here. Great, okay. So now we have... A lava fountain thing in the middle that prevents gas from spawning. And then we'll go ahead and get one of these little, uh, kind of outward things here on this pillar. For right now, we'll just make it out of these to hold us over as an indicator. And so that's going to be every, I guess, every third stall we start that way. Maybe, is that... Does that even match up? No, that has nothing to do with the stalls, does it? It has to do with... See, the problem is this end doesn't really have anything to do with the pillars. But we can change that over here with the next one now that I'm looking at it, I guess. Hmm. Okay. So let's uh, ditch our extra buckets and grab some new ones. Oh, I guess we should figure out, though, how far down we want to have the next spot be that does the same thing. So, let's see here. So, if you go past three stalls, you get to this pillar. You go past one, two, three stalls, you get to this pillar. So, let's say that this one should be the next one that has all this stuff, all this fanciness. So, we can just come in here, and of course, I'm just wasting blocks atrociously. So, that means that I really need to have this... Kind of all sorted out through here. We will just wipe that out like so. So one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Awesome. So now we just take out these middle ones and we can really go to town on everything. Of course, there's still lava on either side of these, so this is not a perfect solution, quote unquote as they would, you know. I know a lot of people lack perfect solutions, but it's Minecraft. This is a game of experimentation and play. We are playing here. We are not working. You know, when you're working, yeah, you gotta get things right. But when you're playing, you can mess around a little bit. I mean, heck, even in certain types of work, you can get things wrong first. You know, you just make theories and you work on them. So, here we go. Grab that. So, let's see. So, this is... Yeah, this is actually... I really like this design now that I've kind of got a handle on it mentally. So, on the outside here, we're going to want four. And we're going to want them all to be the fancy stone. Whoops. Of course, those are about to burn up. And so let's get rid of that. Let's recover this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay, so, now we come in here, though, the middle four. One, two, three, four. Get to be the good stuff. Middle four here, same deal. Good stuff, good stuff. Whoa, pig man. Don't you dare hop in front of my pick. I will not be merciful when you slay me and I de decide I have to log off to escape you. That will, that will happen so fast. You will, you will not be prepared. So, then we come through here, and this is going to be where we get the six, I guess. Yeah, that's how that works. So, cool. So then, these ones we are not going to need, in fact, in the long term. 
Or will we? Wait. Um, so we end up with one here and one here, I guess. And on these, then we can kind of flush that out a bit. Okay, so there we go. We have got our second setup over here, which we will deal with. So then we go ahead and get rid of that one and that one, I think. So we've got two on all sides. Great. Perfect time for more lava buckets. I mean, I'm ready for more lava buckets. I hope you are. So if we can get this second one done, I'm happy to call this a successful episode. As long as none of these pigmen push me in. Then it will be a failure of an episode that I will live to never live down. I will be like, oh pigmen, you have opposed me and I will make manifest my war against you and your peoples. This is unacceptable. How dare you? So, just throw a few more buckets of lava down here, and we will be ready to go. Awesome. I'm really actually pretty happy. Oh, I'm one lava bucket short, aren't I? Well, that's okay. We'll just grab one from that last bit, because... We still... No, there's none left over here. Oh, there's none left over here. No. Well, anyway, you get the idea. I'll come back and do this later. But until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep stalling. Actually, don't do that. Stalling's a terrible tactic. But, you know, do visit my stall if you are a member of Hermitcraft and provide me ink or ladders in exchange for wool or carrots because that's how this works and I really need food. Did I leave any over here? Oh yeah, until next time y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.